In this video, I'm going to show you not only how to set up picture-in-picture -picture inside LumaFusion, but also how to change the shape so that you don't have to use just a regular square or rectangle. First I'll tap on Photos and make sure All Photos and Videos is selected. Then I'll tap on my main video clip, this one here, and drop it into the main video track. This is the clip that's going to be in the background. If I play the clip, you'll notice that it has no audio. You're going to have to have a minimum of two clips. A main clip, like the one I just added, and a clip that goes in track number two. Double tap the left facing arrow to go back to the beginning of the clip. Grab your second clip and drag it down into the main timeline and place it in track number two. To set up picture in picture, double tap on your top clip. When the clip editor opens, you'll see the top right hand corner, which gives you a bunch of movement options that you can do. This allows you to set the position of the video on screen. To choose a picture in picture option, just tap on it. Although the background looks black, you'll see LumaFusion will automatically adjust your clip. Picture in picture is useful if you're doing reaction videos, but notice in my main clip, I have a title here. So this is not the best place to put my picture in picture clip. So what I'm going to do is I'm gonna scroll back up to the top by swiping down, tap on reset all, which will restore the picture in picture clip to full screen like this. For those of you who don't want to set up picture in picture with a square, but another shape like a circle, you can do that by building a custom mask. Let me show you how to build a mask. Make a duplicate of your picture in picture clip while it's full screen. Tap on the duplicate icon and detach the audio because we don't need it. Then you're going to tap in the upper left hand corner, tap on titles, and choose an overlay title that has a perfect circle in it. Bring it down into the timeline and hold it over top of the clip that you just duplicated, like this. When you get this dialog box, tap on replace clip but keep timeline duration. This will help you to ensure that the overlay title is the same length as your other two clips. Now you've got an overlay title that's the same length as your other two clips. In order for this to work properly, all your clips need to be the same length. Since that's the end of the video clip and the picture in picture clip, make a cut here and let's make sure that all the clips are exactly the same length. A good way to test that out is to double tap on the right facing arrow. Both your picture in picture video, your overlay title, and your main clip should appear to be on the screen. If you need to make some adjustments, go ahead and do that. Next, you're going to double tap on your overlay title to open the clip editor. And remove everything in this overlay title except for the circle. Tap on the trash can to throw the text away. Now you're left with just the shape. Now I'm going to position the circle over my face using frame and fit. That's good. Now I will add my second shape. Tap the plus sign here, choose shape, and expand the rectangle out, and then change the face color to blue. Then reorder the shapes, and go back to frame and fit. Export this clip out as a movie. I'll save it in my camera roll. Once the export is finished, you can delete the clips in tracks two and three 
you'll be left with just your original background clip. This is fine. Next, bring down the clip that you just exported. And drop it in track number two. Then double tap on that clip that you just added and remove the blue background. Tap on color and effects, tap on the chroma key icon and choose blue screen key. The background has been removed. Now you might want to go to frame and fit. Make sure size and position is open and then Use two fingers to pinch and make it a little bit smaller. Now that you have your face in a circle, you can swipe down and choose one of the picture-in-picture -picture options. Just tap on a picture-in-picture -picture option to choose it. Once you've got your picture-in-picture -picture option chosen, you can manually move the clip by long pressing and dragging it into position where you want to place it. I think here looks good because I've got this title lower third in my background video. Go back to the main timeline. This is the end of the video, so we need to make sure that both clips are the same length. Make a cut if you need to. Both clips should end at the same time. Now tap the share icon, tap on movie, choose a destination, and export your final clip. To play a video in LumaFusion, all you have to do is tap on the play icon. And the video will start to play at normal speed. Then, tap the left facing arrow to move back one clip. Double tap the left facing arrow to move back to the beginning of the clip. You can tap the right facing arrow to move to the end of a clip.